not sure that you're joining or not. No, I know that I'm joining. All right, Miss Teen Philippines is a search for a spokesperson for the youth, all right? We just don't want pretty girls. We just don't want girls who get challenged by their friends. We want people who have the heart to be a model of the youth. If you pick me, I can like show the girls that it's okay to like be yourself and that you don't have to look up to these people and stuff that are like super thin because I'm not talking about yeah. thin models. My friends go f to me for advice. I know a lot of people. They don't even know me. They just like, oh, I heard that you can help people and stuff, and I just need something, someone to talk to. Like um, what? What? In what issues? What kind of issues are you talking about? Um, I've had a friend who messed up her life by joining a fraternity. I told her I didn't want to be friends with people like that. And then so she heard that her dad was transferring her to Japan so that she wasn't into this stuff. But then like she she didn't know what to do. She decided to run away. I told her not to do that. Uh, of course you're giving advice and you really actually don't know what you're talking about because you haven't been in the same situation yet, right? Like Miss Stephanie Stoll for instance, she's an environmentalist since she was grade six. So now she talks about environmental issues which is very relevant to her heart, no? Now, uh, I'm asking about you. What have you done as a youth, you know? What have you done in your school? Have you done um, anything in your community? What? I've, I have been joining things at school, like Habitat for Humanity. Okay, what do you, okay. Habitat for Humanity is what? We go to Liluan, and we help with the house building there. What do you think is the relevance that for you as a youth person? I'm actually helping people who don't have a home to build their own homes. Good afternoon. My name is Sterling Dimagiba. I'm 16 years old. What does Dimagiba mean? I'm in... Dimagiba means um, cannot be destroyed. Indestructible. Are you indestructible? Yes, I am. Because? Because I have a very strong heart and I am confident in myself and I believe in myself. Really? Why? Yes, because I know that I have the guts and I have the personality, of course. Of course. What kind of personality do you have? Mm. Of my personality is uh, I am strong. Yes. Uh, How strong? I'm, uh, so very strong. Oh, can you lift that to chairs at the same time? <laughs> no, no, no. Can you lift the end? Can you lift the chairs? <laughs> yeah, it's not literally like strong that I can lift ah, the okay. chairs. But, but strong. And I don't. Um, I know all of us cry, but I. But like. <laughs> Really? You think we can make you cry? I'm not sure. But you said you're strong. strong. Yes, I am. I am strong, but. 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 On what your, but about your questions, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. Depends on if you can answer them or not. Yes. Okay. Uh, you won second runner-up in Miss Step. What is that? Um, students and technical and entrepreneurship in the Philippines. It's about entrepreneurship. So what did what, what did you win? Um, it's Miss. How did you win? Sorry. Uh, how did I win? I win because I'm just being myself on stage. And also, what, what can you say about entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship. Uh, it helps the students, especially students who are still studying, and even though they're studying, they can earn a living. Are you doing that? Yes, I am. And I am selling uh, crochet, crochet things, cr crochet articles because my major in our school is crochet. handicraft. Yes. My major is that? Yes. Handicraft? Yes, in TLE. In our TLE. What's a TLE? Technology and Livelihood Education. So you're, you're practicing entrepreneurship now? Yes, I am. 
Okay, what do you think is the relevance of entrepreneurship, especially among the youth in this country? Among the among the youth in our countries, it can help them earn a living if, even though they are still studying and also it can give them knowledge. What if we don't have money? How can we be entrepreneurs? Um, I can do some articles, yes, because I I have learned a lot in our school and I can sell them. No, no, no. no, no. How about their young people? How, what are you going to suggest to other people? Like, for example, me. I don't have capital, but I want to be an entrepreneur. Um, just uh, be creative. Uh, believe in yourself that you can do things that people will like the articles that you have made. But I'm not creative. You can be creative if you will uh, read some magazines, fashion magazines, of course, and fashion. How does that make you creative? Fashion, yes, because actually in our handicraft, um, it's all about fashion because you know crochet articles like. No, but what if I don't like crochet? Um, you can do uh, paper crochets. What if I don't like that either? Uh, it's if I like cars or something. You can, you, if you want cars, yes. then there's so also... Also, <laughs> 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 oh, okay, sorry. You're an entrepreneur. In TL ed education, if, uh, you, you have also uh, automotive. Automotive, it's about cars. What if I don't have money to go to school? Um, you can learn it through your mother, of course. I know your mother know about everything, no. No. What if we don't have uh, anything? No capital, no, no cap resources. No books, no, no, no magazines, you can recycle. no school. What recycle? What is recycle? No creativeness recycle. at all. Re you can recycle things like... Uh, what? Like... <laughs> you can drink water. You can recycle water? No. Papers. There's a lot of papers in our surroundings. You can make them as papers or good, good, paper articles. Good, yeah. uh, the greatest challenge that the, youth, the Philippine youth is now facing today is for them to mold themselves as mold a, themselves. Yes, as a good statesman, not a. Uh, you know what a statesman is? Yes. What? Um, statesman is a person who thinks about the future, uh, the future of our country. Um, the question was about the greatest challenge in facing the Filipino youth. Yes. Um, for me, the greatest challenge would be um, continuing the what our forefathers have um, fought for long before. Because what did the forefathers fight for? Um, our dignity as Filipinos, our Who did freedom, that? our heroes before like. Who hero? Agnes Bonifacio, Jose Rizal. Name five, five, name five heroes. In alphabetical order. Nina. <laughs> five heroes. Five. Five heroes. Yeah. Jose Rizal, Andres Bonifacio, Diego Silang, Juan Luna, Gabriela Silang. Who's your favorite hero? Jose Rizal. Why? Because um, Jose Rizal, I like him because um, he really speaks out his mind through writing the uh, his controversial novels, the El Fili and the Nali Mitangere. And then he really expressed himself in um, taking back our freedom and our dignity as Filipinos. And he really um, made it as uh, made the Philippines as one. Though even just in his books, but at least he made a, an Would effort. Would you do that? Would you die for your country? Why not? Try to sing in the camera like you're a singer on a TV show. Oh, but you must be Ian. He's he's there already. Yeah, You're not looking at him. Come on. Okay. There, Perform. Look at the camera, not me. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. With feeling. <laughs> feelings. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Crash Crash now Pia Pangilin. Oh, kaya na mo pala. <laughs> okay. Crash now Pia Del Sol with her song number whatever. Look. Any song? Yeah, any. Just, just the chorus. She keeps backing away from me. I know. Are you a relative of Kiko? Pardon? Are you a relative of Kiko Pangilina? Um, he's a third degree cousin. Oh, that's why you're in a boat frame. And no, not, not because. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. We're in this rising. We're getting low. 
According to all sources, the street's the place to go. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, my name is Imer JD. I am 18 years old. Um, a, a, a nursing student from University of San Carlos. Um, I, I, I love to be with my friends, family, and I love to stay at home rather than going on malls. You what? I rather, I prefer to be just in our house and do... Really? Stuff. Why? Yes. What's in your house? Your house big? No, it, it, it isn't, but we are, um, we have, I have eight siblings, so... I eight? have Yes. And okay, you are the... I am the sixth of the nine children. How does it feel to have a big family? Well, it's good, but sometimes there are chaos in the... Uh, in the house. Yes. Theater arts club. What do you do in theater? Um, that club is just. Now what um, do you do? Do we, we do acting? Yeah. What yes. kind of? What is your favorite role? What? Role is when I am the Joker or when what? What when I am the Joker or when I do things that just just so funny like. So you're funny. Yeah, maybe. Try to make us laugh. Try. Okay, make us laugh. <laughs> I don't know. Just look at my face. You just actually like very crazy. Enjoy this scene. yourself. Find your face funny. Our nation has. So we evolved from its primitive face. Yes. Like the technology, because of the technologies. Is we that are bad? When we actually, yes. Good. It, it is one factor of one factor of in, um, improving our country, but there are times that it would affect our living. Like why? Examples. We, we don't have to be lazy, but because of the technologies that we have, our identity of being a person that work, we are here not only for to, uh, not only to live, also to work. To Do you live. have a cell phone? Yes. If I take away your cell phone, would be it be okay? Yes, it will be. Can you sing again? Sure. My love, it's been a long time since crying out of the blue. It's hard living you the way when I never wanted to. Self denial. It's a game I should explain and never knew that was you. It's been a long time since crying left you out of the blue. What's your opinion on um, teenagers posing for men's magazines? <laughs> Do you think they epitomize the youth of today? Um, no, because our body is a sec is very sacred and it's not supposed to be um, post into public. Really? Yes. How about the the Binibining Filipinas, the beauty pattern? Um, yes. So is that bad? No, it's not bad. Because that's that's displaying yourself in front of the <coughs> audience. They usually have two pieces. What if you're required to wear two pieces on your swimsuit? On national TV. On national TV, would you do that? Um, yes. Okay. So you're contradicting yourself? You're contradicting your statement. You said it was bad. Or you're whatever, and then you have like a 
put the swimsuit on that's a little bit skimpy. Do you think that's bad? No, I thought the question was about nudity, not about wearing swimsuits. Okay, let's talk about... Not new. They're not new, they're not like a scene. They're, yeah, they're, they're, not they're new. wearing swimsuits. Like FHM, they're not totally new. Hmm. You think that's okay? Yes. What you're saying is that it's not okay if you're nude. But what if you're posing for a national artist? You want to do nude paintings? Maybe that's I'll fine. try to think about it if I am going... If I am required to do it. I'm saying, is that bad or good? I can't say it's bad in the You have to have an opinion of something. You can't say if it's bad or good, but you already said nudity is bad. Yeah? You're not sure. Yeah, but you said your mom forced you. It's an opportunity for me to join because this this I can you don't want to join. Your mom just forced you. Yes. So you'd rather not join. You won't? You better tell us because we're choosing candidates here. And if you win, you're gonna be sent to Manila. I don't want a half baked candidate. You have to want to be in it, otherwise useless. It cannot be wishy-washy if you're talking about something. Okay. Uh, um, about them being achievers. Mostly um, Filipino nowadays, they don't focus on education, but they focus on their popularity, their credibility, and their selves. Who? The youth? Yes. Not all of the youth like that. Yeah, I said mostly. Most? Really? Give us what? Can you back up that answer with statistics? Because I know most of the people who join Miss Tina are achievers. And uh, I can also say that for a lot of youth leaders in our country, because we have a very bright, you know, we have a big percentage of bright Filipino youth that are focused on what they want and, and uh, how they can make a difference in the world. Okay, so if you want, would like to rephrase that, go ahead. Hi, we're at Studio 125 and we're here, we're having a shoot for our pictorials and then we're showcasing also our talents. We are here with the makeup artist gathered all here for Miss Team Philippine Sipu. We have here Kelly, Hello. one of the top talents. I want to go back to my little brass shack in Kilakikua, Hawaii. Lahat kayo'y mag-pitsinyor Tayo na mag-sinulog Lahat kayo'y mag-pitsinyor Pitsinyor, oh pitsinyor Lahat kayo'y mag-pitsinyor 